Hi guys, it's your girl Natalie, the One True Diamond, coming at you with a video. I just come on to just talk to you guys about my end of the year, um, my Christmas, my vacation, what happened on my vacation, and all those sorts of things. I did not finish up my Vlogmas because I kind of was getting a little disappointed at the end of Vlogmas about my vacation and my trip, and it just seems like... Um, so, <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, so now, so what happened was, y'all know I was planning the trip to Disney for Christmas for the family, and it just seemed like everybody was just starting to drop off and fall off like flies, like everybody was like, yeah, I'm going to do it, I'm going to go, yeah, 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 didn't work out, so they started dropping off, so Christmas Eve, I said, okay, I'm just going to go with whatever's going, um, because um, right at the last moment, my mom got gout, so she couldn't go. So that made my nephew couldn't go. Um, people before that that said they were going never went, never booked, any of those things. So I had made up in my mind, we're going to go. I'm just going to be me and my family. We're going to have a good time. Um, I'm not going to worry about who cannot go, you know. But um, my on Christmas Eve, I went and rented a car for my son and his family to drive down because I was going to drive my car. And then I get a call that, um, I get a call that they're not going to be able to go because um, y'all know that um, Jamari is my bonus grandchild, but he's just like mine. He came from his father's house from South Carolina and come to find out he had COVID. So, oh my God. So the, they couldn't go. I'm like, oh my God, that's five of them that's dropped down now. They can't come. So I was a little disappointed, a little sad about that because I wanted them to go to Disney and experience Disney and have fun. But you know, it was just like, what in the world? So anywho, I had to rush and take my car take the car back the place that I had rented it from I thought I was gonna be stuck with that thousand dollar bill um because the place that I had rented it from they closed at like one o'clock that day so I called the 1-800 Enterprise and they told me there was a location at the airport that was open so I went took the car back to the airport I turned it in I'm like thank god I knew they was gonna probably charge me for the day even though I only had it a few hours but you know what I'd rather pay for it for the day than to get charged with it. and I knew I couldn't take it back on Christmas Day because I knew that everything probably be closed on Christmas Day they wouldn't be open on Christmas Day so I um I took it back and when I got all the way back home y'all I realized I had left totes that I had bought for from Target I had left grocery with meat in it and I'm like oh my god it was about time for them to close so I was just so worried that I was not gonna be able to get it out and that stuff was gonna rot over there and that car was gonna smell and they're gonna charge me the high heavens for what happened to that car so I hurried up and I called the girl and she was like okay you can come back and get it so I'm like rushing back over there when I got there everything was dark I'm like oh my gosh she closed and I could not get this stuff but when I looked she was walking up the walkway bringing me my items and everything so I was like yes thank god she um she waited and brought it to me so I was able to get that and took care of that um, so then I was like, okay, so I picked Princess Jewel up on Christmas Day. So it was like me, her, and Derek was going. I had been outside all that like Friday before, like um, early that morning out. Really didn't have a coat, didn't stay bundled, you know, having a little pair of slippers with no socks on. And I had went out to um, feed the dog and get her pen and things ready so that, um, my brother-in-law who was going to be keeping her everything would be in order he would know where to find everything and you know it was just just trying to set her up for our being gone for so long and someone else oh sorry kicking the camera and someone else would be taking care of her so i didn't pay it any mind so you know like on christmas i kind of had like a little drop throat and i had um just a little runny nose and stuff out you know, so I said, well, it's just cold. I've been out there with dog and stuff like that. So, you know, we went on our trip on Sunday and it was a long, tiring drive. 
I'm telling you, the traffic in South Carolina was like bumper to bumper and we were moving like snails. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so ready to get here. But it took us like maybe 12, 13 hours to get to that house. And when we got there, it was it was a very nice Airbnb that we rented, um, very nice. And so, and I did take video footage of that, but I'm gonna do a separate video of that because it might be a little too long to put a clip in here of it, but um, of the whole house. So I'll probably do a separate clip of that. I mean, a separate video of the Airbnb that we stayed in. So yeah, so, um, oh yeah. So we went um, to, yeah, so we got in and we got settled and I videoed everything the first night because I wanted to video it before everybody got there. Um, Monday when I got up, I had a text from my boss and some other people on the job saying that several people on the job had tested positive for COVID. I'm like, oh my God. And then I started getting worried because y'all know I started having the runny nose and that dry kind of scratchy like um, throat. And I'm like, oh my Lord, what am I going to do? You know, I got everybody coming. So what? I called my sister who was coming up from Fort Lauderdale and told her what was going on about people on the job. I said, I don't know for sure, but you know, so she, there, her family didn't come. So that was another disappointment that they weren't able to come because of that. I got up, I went to the CVS to try to look for an at-home test. They did not have any. So I said, you know what? Let me just find a testing site and go get in the line and let that be it. A little ways right down the street from the CVS, there was a testing site. I got out and I went and I went to sit in line, which was strange because here we have drive-through. You know, people aren't standing in line waiting to go. We, we They are actually drive-throughs. You stay in the car. So it was shocking to see that you actually got out and walked up to the thing. So <laughs> anyway, it was a ghetto fabulous as it could be, okay? By the time we got there, they had ran out of, well, we, I meant me, because I was the only one who went. By the time I got up there, um, they had ran out of all the rapids. So I'm like, oh my God. So they told me I would have to wait. It would be 72 hours for my results. Y'all, let me tell y'all. Really, I waited longer than 72 hours because I tested on Monday. I did not get my results till I think it was like early Saturday morning. I'm like, I'm going to go now. Now I get my results. That's ridiculous. So anyway, I still kept myself isolated. I wore my mask while I was in the house. I'm wiping down in Clorox. I'm Lysoling just so I can keep Derek and the princess safe, you know. And then, you know, later that day, you know, my son was on his way and I um, talked to another girl on the job and she said, well, try the Speedway because Speedway do sell them. I said, okay, let me Google and see if I can find one here. So I found one and I tested and I was like, oh my God, my test came back positive, y'all. I had COVID on my Christmas vacation holiday and that was just that just threw me for a loop. I was just so mad. You know, I'm like, ah. Oh. And what it actually turned out to like 11 or 12 people on my job had COVID. And what happened was we had our Christmas party on that Thursday. And we all was in our waiting area and we made it buffet style, which we were not thinking. A bunch of healthcare professionals, we just was not thinking. And one thing I was like, okay, we all been vaccinated and some of us has even been boosted and you know it's like we've been taking these precautions but somebody won't because somebody brought COVID into our christmas party okay so anywho anywho so i called my son he's like well we're already on our way you know too far to turn back now so but the house was big enough where we all really did not have to be there together but like i said i did wear my mask the whole while in the house and tried to stay as far away from people as i could and like i said sanitizing the lights falling down um derek did not do his test until we actually came back home on that sunday and he was negative so i thank god that he did not get it because that would just 
have just really tore me up really bad to know that I could have possibly, you know, gave him COVID and made him sick or whatever. But I will say, I know some people say, well, you said you got vaccinated and you had the booster. I did, but I thank God I had those things because I'm telling y'all, it was just like a little running nose and stuff. Now, when I got home on Monday, I did feel real tight. Well, Sunday night we got home. Monday, I felt real tired and drained all day, but I think that was from driving like those 12, 13 hours. It was raining. We were bumper to bumper from Georgia to South Carolina till we got in North Carolina, and it was just bad driving and very tense, and I think that's why I felt drained for that. Um, I called the uh, Occupational Health, which I was really off of isolation per them. Um, what they told everybody else five days from when you first started having your symptoms and mine was like that Friday so that Thursday I was really off of isolation so I was able to take Princess Jewel to Disney her my son his girlfriend um, her friend little Jordan and another girl went and you know, I just kind of stayed away. I had my mask. I let her go up on the rides with them um, so that she could experience it. And I just, you know, stayed back and waited for them to get off the rides and things like that. So um, that's kind of how I stayed away, even though I was technically off of isolation per CDC and my jobs. Um, instruction so when i got back monday and i talked with them and you know told them what my results and stuff was and everything you know they did say i can come back to work i was way off of my isolation so i did go back to work on that tuesday but again y'all i'm telling you my symptoms was very minimal and i just thank god for that because i you know i've heard i've heard and seen you know the um horror that COVID can cause, you know, and I can say, I thank God I'm still alive. You know, little Jamari's doing good. And I didn't tell you, his whole family tested positive except for TJ. Little baby Simi, who's only two, even tested positive. Simi, Jamari, the mom, the dad, positive, <laughs> but not little TJ. I said, he's my little tough one. <laughs> he did not get it. So he did not. So that was good for you know them and they're all doing good and well now so i will attach some of the disney and some of the vacation pictures that we did um that we did take you know i was a little upset because i wanted to do disney and i just wanted to do universal and i just wanted us all to get together and do something to have fun but the only thing they went to was disney and i'm so glad i rented a airbnb that had a pool at the house so that gave them something to entertain themselves with so they didn't feel bored or anything like that you know and i didn't even get to do my shopping like i wanted to do while i was down there i didn't get to do anything like I wanted to because I just felt like I need to be isolated away you know just to you know I just did so anywho <laughs> with that being said that was my um Christmas vacation but that's fine it's okay hopefully we can look Jamari told me he said well that means y'all couldn't <laughs> do anything either when he found out I had COVID too and I said you're right so he said now you need to replan it so I'm gonna replan another trip I don't know when it's gonna be I don't know if it's gonna be within my budget for next Through the snow, in a